I'm going to run around and do some side missions real quick. Turn in what I can. This is a dark mission, by the way, guys. Survey Guy Corps, over here. I, um, I want to go home now, but Drifflin won't let me. Can you help, please? Can do. Uh, Drifloon, take children away. Ooh. Bye, Drifloon. Yay, I can go home. You didn't mean to be bad. I was. I always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret. Oh, my name is Taki. See you around, Survey Corps boy. Port bite. Yeah, can't speak. Report back to Mickey. Who's so fine. I can't remember the rest of the song. Oh. Situation resolved. The gang is all here. Uh, we got Ponyta, Aisha the Ursa Ring, Cleavor, Mera the Typhlosion, Lady Luxray, and Dippin' Dots the Mr. Mime. Uh, Luxray can't change because it's trade. Unfortunately. Uh, but you will have noticed by now, because I would have changed it last episode, never talked about it. Because, der, uh, Aisha. No, you won't tell Taisha. Mara, the Typhlosion, the new artwork down at the bottom, done by the fiancé Lady Spectre Fox. She has taken uh, the Pokemon and incorporated elements of where my names came from for it. So Mara was named after a character in a book series. I'll pull it up here, show it, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Redwall. So she's combined those two. Uh, Dippin' Dots. She's done that as well, because I that's the best name in the world. Uh and Lady Luxray. Uh Ponyta, Cleavor. Haven't earned names yet. Aisha hasn't reached the final form. So that's where we're at. Let us save, because I don't remember the last time I saved. Let's go, peeps. Come on, Dots. I need to go battle Adam and uh, Mara's going to lead off. Yes, flicker out. No, flicker out of you. I don't want to look at you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Goodbye. Uh, Adam and... I'm gonna need to whoop you A so I can go do other cool stuff. Talk to me, man. Alright, go around with me. You bet. I'm old. I don't got my tank like I do in my other game. Millie, make sure you watch closely now. I don't like him. Or er, it him. I think it's a him. Teflosh, not Teflosh, uh, Leafeon, VT. Let's go, Mara. Oh, you got an EV2. Uh, Flamethrower with Leafeon, please. Bye bye I'm sorry, little EV. Adamant, you, you need to train up EV a little bit here before you do this, buddy. Oh, wow. I did not expect it to live, but it tried to quick attack me. <laughs> Get out of here, Ivy. Wait, do you have a gender difference that I can tell yet? I know their tail, the white tip of their tail is different. At least it was for the Let's Go EV. If it dots leveled up, Ponyta got a new move. I do need to check the moves at some point. Uh, I think our helper from the Pearl Plan was going to meet you at the training ground once you're ready. Till later, Steve. Glad to have you. Thanks, buddy. 
I like you. Mele, shift yourself. Unless you want to get even more of an earful than you're already due for. Cut me some slack here. No, I don't like you. Silene! What's up? Join me in the office. We'll go over the particulars of your new mission. I just say, I love the Cyndaquil kimono. Next, to the Cornet Highlands. You'll be on the Rift's doorstep. There's no telling what perils await. Your current rank qualifies you to conduct research, but you'll need help from a particular person and Quelf Electrode. Go to the training grounds. You should find them there. Thanks, boss. What do you got for me, Laving Lavington? Yeah, Lavington. Requests. Back alley, Mr. Mine. Uh, the Seas Legend. Lavington, why did you put it on your board? <sighs> Manaphy and Fion. There you go. Spoiler. Blah, 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 blah. I probably won't do that. I'm basically... As you can tell in the new layout and the shiny symbol, I'm trying to get a shiny village. So that's my main thing I'm going to do. I'll eventually do all the side quests. Might not record all that, but I'll do that. Iskin. Iskin, stop talking, please. I know, I know. Go to the coastlands. What? Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, which one? Crowbugs, poison. I think... Yeah, you're right here, lady. Purcell. Quest about Krogonk. Remember the damn... Da 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 da. A member of the Diamond Clan told me that they make medicine by diluting Krogonk's poison. Medicine made from Krogonk's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. I'd love to have some time. Some to give Buck. Po who's Buck? Oh, he's over there. Uh, Krogonk. I have a Krogonk. I got a Krogonk. <laughs> so this is Krogonk. Got a charming little face, hasn't he? He looks more green. Oh no, that's just my TV. Uh, I need a smidgen of your poison. Would you be so kind? Uh, this is the same Krogonk that gave me the idea for the shiny village. He worked on the farm. Now he's in the hospital. Super effective. That was a terrible pun. Priscilla, my back's hurting. Yeah, 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 yeah. What could have been? What could have been? Uh. No going back. I am now going to meet Ingo. For the life of me, cannot remember who Ingo is. Oh, hey, you have a mission. Eh. Oh! Duh. Hairstylist. Little extra something. New hairstyles. Mr. Viss. I don't think I have one of them. No, I don't. Alright, let's go. I need to get some... I need to actually play the game. <laughs> Mara out front. Hi, Irida. Hello. This gentleman is Warden Ingo, who serves Sneasler. He'll guide you to her domain. Sneasler's a girl? Okay. Pleased to properly meet you. I apologize for the abrupt how do you do before. I'm the Warden Ingo. I understand you'll need a hand from Sneasler in order to meet Electrode. Whether she'll see fit to help you, however, we can only find out by making the journey. Now let's have a safe journey to Mount Cornet. All aboard. Ingo's a bit like you, you know. Like me? He appeared one day from who knows where. What's more, much of his memory seems to be missing. Maybe traveling with you will help you fill in some of the gaps in his memory. 
Are you also suspicious of him like you are of me? Because, jeez. Commander, every time I talk to him. Oh, you came from the sky. You can't be trusted per the village. Uh, glad to have your help. Good luck up in the Highlands. Thank you. Let's go to the Highlands. They're probably my second favorite place. I am so, so used to my other game where I have basically unlimited supplies that seeing only a hundred Pokeballs confused me. Heading outside the village. Go to the Highlands camp? Yep. Sneezler. Hey look, that's where I came from. Is someone gonna mention it? Very Breath of the Wild music there. It's very reminiscent of something. If I can think and get a capture of it, I'll put it side by side here. But... There you are. Welcome to the Highlands. Expect you'll find all the rocks and ground type wandering about. Uh, I see a rock jumping. And up there, right beneath the Great Rift in space-time, is the peak of Mount Cornet itself. The magnetism from it may well exert some sort of influence on the Pokemon throughout the area. Fascinating stuff. So, steel types as well. Two Ponyta. Pick the rock. Oh, the tree shake too. Hi, Graveler. Uh, Ponyta, this is a bad fight for you. Luxray. Um, I also discovered in my meantime of playing this, you don't get the items for these encounters from the rocks and trees unless you beat them. So that's probably the only battle you'll be seeing me do is for them. Okay, tree, ponyta, you should be able to take whatever comes out of here. I need to get you evolved. So I can see your majestic gray flames, I believe. Okay, uh, where was I going again? That way. We're here, let's go. It's a Probopass statue. And that's, uh, Clefable. Let's... Hi, bye. You don't see me. I'm going to explore the area as I go. Yanmega. I constantly forget Yanmega exists. I guess I just didn't play that generation too much. I think that was black and white? Give me the Vivichoke. Give me the Vivichoke. Thank you. Oh, I can run. That's right. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I played this. Ponyta, kick rocks. I've actually been playing Elden Ring. That's a game. True. The electrode known as the Lord of the Hollow is somewhat different from the electrode I recall. But its electrical discharges, at least, are familiar. One false step around it could put you in danger. If you're going to face it, you might consider catch a Pokemon that can withstand electricity. It must be difficult being a Pokemon, don't you think? Especially one as irritable as electrode. Then becoming frenzied to boot? So true, it's a tough old life for Pokemon and humans alike. Please... Go away. I strongly dislike this dude. Battle you? Sure. Oh, I said no. So basically his whole thing is... The frenzy that the lords are in is the will of Sinnoh. 
So why are we interfering? Because what, what is the frenzies doing? Apparently it just hurts the Lord, but they believe Almighty Sinnoh's from the Rift. Rift is where from the Lightning came. Ergo, he believes it's the will of Sinnoh, so we should stop interfering. Sneasler. It's dim inside. Watch my step. Enter into the cave. I didn't spend much time in here in my other game. I love this game, but the graphics points. I don't know if it's showing up on the recording, but on my screen I'm watching, there's clearly white lines around their outline at points. Could this be Melly attempting to obstruct us? Someone took the torches. No darkness, no foul weather would delay us. Onward. So out of all the people, they decide to also send back in time, like me. They pick Ingo. I know he's on the battle train. And, uh, something that... Its name escapes me. If only over here, I'm sure it would like the way Lurinus onward. I'm sorry, Ingo, I wasn't paying attention to you. Please forgive the unscheduled stop. I detect an alpha robot to our right. So now we're going back because there's no lights. Like, he's such a minor character. I'm starting to recall a man who looked like me. To the point where I know nothing about him. Soon be arriving at the exit. Like of all the people they picked from black and white, because I believe that's when he's from. I don't know if he's got a bigger presence in the anime. Wait, could those be the torches? Let me put those torches back where they belong. The darkness could be perilous for the next person to pass through here. I'm now remembering why I didn't spend much time here in my other game. Beg your pardon. I've lit and returned the torches. My safety concerns have been addressed. Ready for departure. Follow the track marked by the torches. You'll reach the terminus of this cave. Give me the iron. Go bat. What level are you? Too strong. Got it. Sorry, Luxray. Can you take him? Thunderfang. And I get to go again. Okay. Follow the torches. Oh, I defeated. I needed one of one for that. Uh, I really want Ponyta to evolve, so I'm going to put you back up front. Professor Lavington told me how you fell to this land from the sky. For my part, I simply found myself one day here in Hisuya, a region whose name I'd never heard of. All I could remember was my own name. I was still standing there in bafflement when the Pearl Clan came to my aid. I showed a natural affinity for taming Pokemon, which is why I eventually became a warden. So what you're saying is I could become a warden? Uh, but still, I wonder what my true purpose is here. Ah, uh, but now I've sidetracked us with this talk. Let's hurry onward. Make your way up the mountain. Let's go, word here. Uh, forgot about that. Forgot about that aspect already. I usually just fly around on Braviary. Paris, go bad. 
Mothma, giant Mothma. Oh look, it's the butthead. Do you want to battle now? What's the big idea? Putting back all the torches I spent ages tidying away. Do you get some sort of amusement stomping around and ruining people's noble deeds? Oh, rendering a cave impassable to people who venture inside hardly seems noble to me. Hmm, well this just goes to show that even we wardens don't always see eye to eye. I extinguished those lights for the sake of the Pokemon in that cave who prefer the dark. This sounds suspiciously, fami suspiciously familiar to the, um, the Clefairy episode of the Pokemon series. I believe there was lights put up in a cage, in the caves that was driving the Zubat and Paris out. But now you lots have put my effort to waste. If you think I'll just let you saunter ahead to meet Lord Electrode, you're sorely mistaken. I want, I'm going to Sneasler. How will I proceed? I don't want to fight him at the moment. I need to heal. Fine. Go Skuntank. Skuntank, you're too good for him. Ponyta. Oh, you're level 40. Eek. Um... Aisha. You can take it. Bulldoze. Good job, Aisha. I know evolving you is a pain in the butt, so I'll get around to it. I need a pita block? I don't think I have one, actually. I know I tried to grind out all the stuff I could. Listen here, neither I nor Stun Skun Tank admit defeat just yet. Our challenge to you still stands. I will withdraw, though, to afford Skun Tank time to recover. There's no shame in a tactical retreat. Dude, you're like a massive jerk. What a lively character. Let's put it nicely. Cannot fathom his intentions, but let's press on. Uh, well, there's a lot of, of satchels here. What, what sees me? Oh, Pony Talk can take you out. Pony Talk can take you out while I say goodbye to the lovely people. Flame Wheel. Uh, so this is going to be it for this episode. We will continue exploring the mountain next time. Uh, yeah, I'll record the next one right now anyway. So, thank you. And we will see you on the next one while we go deal with this massive jerkwad named Melee.